The overall goal of this procedure is to process cardiac extracellular matrix to a hydrogel, which enables studying the effect of the matrix in various cell-based assays. This method can help to answer key questions in the cardiac field, such as how extracellular matrix affects cell behavior. The main advantage of this technique is that it facilitates the use of the extracellular matrix to do large-scale experiments in vitro or in vivo. The implications of this technique can be extended towards a therapy for myocardial infarction because the matrix can provide essential survival cues. To begin the experiment, use a sterile scalpel with a number 10 blade to remove fat tissue from a previously obtained left ventricular myocardium. Cut the myocardium in cubes approximately 1 by 1 by 1 centimeters using a scalpel. Next, place the cubes into a sterile 50 milliliter tube. Store the tubes containing the cubes at negative 80 degrees Celsius. Take the tube containing the prepared cubes out of the freezer and transport it on ice to the cryostat. Set the object and chamber temperature of the cryostat to negative 15 degrees Celsius. Chill empty 50 milliliter tubes and stamps in the chamber. Add a layer of cryosection medium onto the cold stamp and let it freeze until it is white and solid. Add a second layer of cryosection medium and place a myocardium tube into the second layer. Make sure the cryosection medium and myocardium are completely frozen. Then, insert the stamp with frozen myocardium into the holder and tighten all the screws.